colon cancer stands out as one of the most devastating disease today. It ranks third in terms of common diagnosis and second in fatality among cancer types. The challenges in battling this disease is compounded by a powerful industry built around it, fueled by money, misleading advertisements, and confusing information. This industry often leaves both patients and healthcare professionals puzzled and misinformed. Contrary to a common misconception, the primary factor determining colon cancer risk isn't solely genetics. While a family history can increase risk, making up 5 to 10% of cases, it's not the whole story. Genes may play a part, but it's our lifestyle choices that significantly contribute. Recent research emphasizes the critical role of diet and lifestyle in preventing or even reversing colon cancer. Antioxidant-rich foods, for example, are now recognized for their impact on combating various chronic conditions. This isn't mere speculation but a rapidly growing area of scientific exploration that points towards the future of medicine. Now, how to know if you have a colon cancer? The early symptoms of colon cancer may not be apparent, but as the disease progresses, certain signs may become evident. Advanced stages of colon cancer can manifest through symptoms such as chronic bleeding leading to iron deficiency anemia. If individuals around the age of 45 or 50 appear unusually pale and experience iron deficiency anemia, evaluation for an intestinal tumor is recommended. Colon cancer often starts as a small, slow-growing polyp on the intestinal wall, initially causing minimal interference with the intestine's contents and producing no noticeable symptoms. Therefore, individuals at higher risk, especially those over 45 or 50, are advised to undergo a colonoscopy. The recommendation comes even earlier if there is a family history of cancer. A colonoscopy is a medical procedure that allows visualization, detection, and removal of polyps. This is crucial for early detection and prevention of colon cancer. The appearance of symptoms depends on both the size and location of the tumor. For early detection, analyzing stool samples for hidden blood is a method to consider. Tumors often bleed in a way that is not visible and a stool sample analysis can provide valuable information. Additionally, watching for warning signs such as changes in stool color, especially darker stools due to bleeding, can be indicative of a potential issue. Colon cancer on the right side of the intestine can be more elusive in the early stages because the feces are still liquid, making it difficult for a tumor to obstruct the intestine. On the left side, obstructions or intestinal occlusions may occur earlier as the feces are already solid. What symptoms might a person experience? Before delving into further details about colon cancer symptoms, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate notifications to stay updated with our informative videos. One common symptom of colon cancer is a change in bowel habits. If your usual routine involves regular bathroom visits and you notice a recent increase in constipation with no bowel movements for one or two weeks, this should raise suspicion. The shape of fecal matter may also change, becoming thinner as it faces through the affected area. Alternatively, episodes of diarrhea alternating with periods of constipation can occur, leading doctors to consider a colonoscopy to check for the presence of an intestinal tumor. As the tumor advances, it can produce an image of an X-ray resembling a bitten apple. This image shows the narrowing of the intestinal lumen due to the tumor, making it difficult for feces to pass through and potentially causing visible bleeding. Unlike hidden bleeding in earlier stages, the blood in advanced stages is often bright red and visible. Stool may also appear darker due to the presence of blood. Other symptoms of more advanced colon cancer include abdominal pain, from obstruction-induced gas buildup, abdominal swelling, weight loss, fatigue, and chronic tiredness. Symptoms may also manifest in internal organs such as liver pain from metastasis or shortness of breath if the lungs are affected. Intestinal polyps, generally benign small tumors hanging like appendages from the intestinal wall, are usually asymptomatic. The most effective way to detect them is through a colonoscopy, allowing visualization and removal for lab analysis to determine if they are benign or malignant. 
However, a small percentage of benign polyps can transform into cancer over time. Understanding these symptoms and the importance of early detection is crucial and later in the video, we'll explore natural ways to prevent and combat colon cancer. The transformation of benign polyp into cancer is influenced by a combination of genetic makeup and lifestyle habits. Contrary to previous beliefs, our genes are not set in stone and research indicates that our dietary choices and lifestyle habits can play a crucial role in influencing gene expression. A balanced diet coupled with other healthy lifestyle habits can impact the activity of genes associated with chronic inflammation, dementia, obesity, heart attacks, and cancer. Making healthier choices can make these genes less active, while poor dietary choices and unhealthy habits can accelerate the activity of these same genes. In simple terms, unhealthy habits could speed up the growth of polyp in its eventual transformation into a tumor over time. Several risk factors contribute to the acceleration of the transformation of a polyp into cancer. This include the consumption of ultra-processed foods, excessive intake of red meats, especially processed varieties like sausages, salami and ham, bad fats, excessive vegetable oils except olive oil and a few others, sugar and excessive sodium. When these factors, particularly from ultra-processed foods, are combined, they act like adding fuel to the fire for tumor growth. Ultra-processed foods have been officially declared as carcinogenic. Other contributing factors to the transformation of a polyp into cancer include constipation, poor or inadequate intestinal flora or microbiota, and chronic inflammation. Additionally, habits such as alcohol consumption and smoking are known to be carcinogenic, further increasing the risk of colon cancer. Understanding and addressing these risk factors through healthier lifestyle choices is crucial in preventing colon cancer. To lower the risk of colon cancer, eat lots of colorful fruits and vegetables, use spices like turmeric, and include healthy fats from fish, nuts, seeds, avocados, and eggs. Drink enough water, eat fiber, get good sleep, exercise, and connect with others for overall health. Contrary to what was believed, studies show that eating seeds, nuts, and other coatings doesn't increase the risk of intestinal issues. In fact, they can be good for your gut. If you have any digestive problems, it's best to talk to your doctor. Colonoscopy is a procedure to find and remove potential issues in your colon. It's suggested to start getting colonoscopies around age of 45 or 50 and more frequently if there's a family history. The procedure is generally safe though there's a very low risk of complications. Regular checkups are essential for catching and preventing colon cancer early. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.